Most people would think you'd need to be high as a kite to believe one country could conquer the entire world, and they'd probably be right. The Weimar government that was installed after World War I had a generally lax official drug policy, and when the Nazis took control of Germany, they left those policies in place. Drugs were commonly used not only by soldiers, but by civilians in Nazi Germany as well. The most common was pervitin, which was available without a prescription to civilians and was readily handed out to troops in order to increase alertness and morale. Of course, pervitin was just the brand name of methamphetamine, one of many drugs enjoyed by the Nazis. Opioids and cocaine were common as well, and Hitler himself had become addicted to morphine following an injury that he sustained in World War I. Higher-ranking Nazi officials were known to use cocaine and methamphetamine hydrochloride, better known as crystal meth. While the Nazis experimented with hallucinogenic drugs such as mescaline that is derived from the peyote cactus, these experiments were conducted on prisoners in concentration camps, and there's no evidence that mescaline was used by Nazi soldiers themselves.